trenches, politics, TV up in this piece. When we get on live streams, niggas, cause I wanted to get high, high, high. I'm getting high today, nigga. I ain't even lying to you, gang. <laughs> Get the fuck off her, you asshole! Leave her the fuck alone, I'm calling the cops! Come here, girl! Come here! Don't you fucking hurt her! Hey! Leave her alone! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! He fucking shot her! What's up, gang? Welcome back to Trenches Politics TV. We know you definitely politic from the trenches. Let's get it. The police were called to a house a day before a deadly Philly neighbor dispute. A woman is dead after an alleged dispute between neighbors that ended with a shooting in Philadelphia on Tuesday. The suspect has been identified as 64-year-old William Pulver. He is accused of shooting and killing his neighbor, 65-year-old Patricia Shin. It all happened just after noon on Tuesday in the 7100 block of Montague Street in Taconi. Neighbors say they saw the accused shooter pull out a gun during one of the many arguments between him and the victim that he had before, but this time in return, it was deadly. Neighbor Anna Marie Walter Ray said they had been going back and forth nitpicking with each other for the last past two, two years, but it all escalated to this point where they're shoving each other and now it's deadly. Another witness said Pulver was arguing with Shin in her backyard when people nearby heard gunshots. Then Action News has been told Shin's husband came home with groceries and found her dead. Some neighbors like Walter said we knew it was going to happen. He had a gun. He had said it before verbally though. Action News says police officers were called to the scene for reports of a neighbor's dispute and shots fired. At the scene, they found Shin dead from gunshot wounds. Barbara had apparently gone inside a nearby property and refused to come out when police arrived, leading to officers declaring a barricade situation. It took about five times. He came out with his hands up and then they put him in a vehicle. The scroll recalled, I couldn't believe something like this happened here. A neighbor recorded it on his cell phone, Barbara being taken into custody around 1.20 p.m. They also say police have been called to the area more than a handful of times because of the same suspect and the same altercation. Investigators have not still said what led up to Tuesday's shooting and still don't know what the argument was about. A neighborhood dispute in the city's Taconi section leaves several unanswered questions this morning. Police say a woman is dead and her neighbor is in custody after an hour-long barricade situation. Residents tell us there is a history with that neighbor on the block. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live at police headquarters with the latest. Corey. Matt, good morning. People who live nearby say police were actually on the block a day before the shooting happened because the victim and her neighbor had a dispute. We're being told by uh, neighbors out there as well that the accused gunman in this actually pulled out a gun uh, during the previous argument. And then this time, though, it turned deadly. We said he's, he's going to do something. He's going to shoot her. He's going to, he's going to snap one of these days. And I couldn't believe it when I came in from work and seen all this and found out that he did. They have been going at each other for the last two years. Picking. You know, little things. But it, it, it'll escalate um, to the point where they're shoving each other. Police say the shooting happened yesterday afternoon just before 12 o'clock on the 7100 block of Montague Street in Taconi. Witnesses say a 65-year-old woman was arguing with her neighbor in her backyard and then people heard gunshots. We're being told her husband came home with groceries and found her dead. Police say the accused gunman then barricaded himself in a nearby property and refused to come out. This is the Philadelphia Police Department. We need you to come to the front door with your hands up. Officers carrying long guns blocked off the street and told neighbors to get inside. The incident was resolved by 1.30 yesterday afternoon. A neighbor recorded cell phone video of a male suspect being taken into custody. They tell us the man showed signs of mental and personal problems in the past. I couldn't believe something like this happened here. It's horrible, horrible. Such a sin. She's such a nice lady. Um, I feel so bad for their family and his family. And police tell us they're still trying to get to the bottom of what this current dispute was about as they continue their investigation. The victim's husband, Robert Sin, said the dispute started over the suspect saying that they stole an iPad a few days earlier. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this whole situation. But make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, and share the video out. And drop a comment on the situation after you set your notification. And keep rocking with Trenches Politics TV, where you only politic in front of trenches. Let's get it. Headquarters with the details. And Steve, you spoke with the victim's husband. Yeah, and he talked about the 64-year-old next-door neighbor who is now here at police headquarters with homicide detectives who's learned he has no prior criminal history that they know of. But they've also learned he's got a lot of prior problems with his next-door neighbor he's accused of shooting and killing today. I noticed the door was open, 
and I looked down and she was laying down there. I thought she fell. Robert Shin came home from grocery shopping and soon found his wife of 37 years here out in the back of the home, down the basement steps outside. So you weren't here when she was shot and killed? No, no. I just looked down and happened to see her. He found out from police she was shot and killed, and their next-door neighbor, the suspect. And he was barricaded in his home for a while until police eventually got him into custody. Later, with a search warrant, detectives found his gun, sources told me. And the day before, the Shins had a confrontation with the next-door neighbor that got physical. He told us that he uh, reached all his uh, iPad and went on some kind of irate and wanted to fight me. He pushed her, yes. And did the police come? Yes. And what did the police tell you yesterday? Uh, the fellow had a report. He said, I got something for you. and. I didn't know. I didn't know he had a gun. Neighbors say the 65-year-old victim and the 64-year-old man in custody had a long-running feud. Him and the neighbor just did not get along. They picked at each other, um, and it just got progressively worse over time. I knew it was going to come to a head eventually. I went down, gave her CPR, and until the ambulance came, and then they tried to see like a dream. Well, Robert Shin told me he had just retired last year from a long career with the Philadelphia prison system. Coincidentally, a place police tell me his next-door neighbor is likely to spend a whole lot of time in from now on himself.